Welcome back everybody. Uh, I know it's been a, it's been a little bit. Um, as I told everybody, I was moving. Um, just uh, getting everything finalized with the house and getting everything packed up and moved over and still working on unpacking and, and uh, straightening up everything. But uh, I did wanna do a nice little video, kinda show the garage, it's a disaster right now. Um, definitely working on cleaning it up, just getting some shelving put up, uh, getting everything packed up in some totes and, and kinda organized and uh, working around some cars. So just quick update for the channel. Uh, still trying to get the G35 running correctly. Uh, found some vacuum leaks that I had to get plugged off. Uh, you know, the battery's dead right now, and like I said, I've been moving, so I wanna get, <clears throat> get that battery charged up and, and give it a shot. <clears throat> so do have that in the garage and I got a new project. Uh, pretty excited about this project. Uh, right now, this thing is a shit box, but tons of potential. It's gonna be fun as hell. So I uh, just kinda wanted to do a video unveiling it and showing everybody what we got. So pardon the mess, but uh, here we go. Uh, what we picked up here is a 96 two-door two-wheel drive s10 blazer uh the thing had a a blown engine it's got a hole in the side of the engine uh it looks like they shot a rod through it uh find deals like that and everybody's trying to get rid of it cheap and uh, I told everybody a little while ago that I had this LQ4 sitting over here, all wrapped up. So next few days, I'm gonna get this bad boy up on blocks. And unfortunately, due to the circumstances, I haven't been able to get my lift yet. That is coming. Uh, hopefully once I'm back to work here, I'll be getting a lift. So. Uh, unless uh one of these fantastic lift companies out there wants to hook me up but i'm definitely not big enough youtube channel for that so anyways uh it's full i got a bunch of stuff in there from moving but i mean it's it's been lowered i haven't even looked under the thing to be honest with you it's got this nasty pink steering wheel uh some billet cranks for the windows and a billet shifter there um thing had the kid was gonna do like car audio with it um he's he's really big into he's got a i believe it was a yukon that he had a bunch of 15s in i mean the thing was massive he was looking to do another another vehicle for competitions and uh just decided to get rid of it <clears throat> so appreciate him you know uh finding this gym in the first place and passing it along to me so anyways like i said blowing trans or blowing engine uh i believe this has a 4l60 in it which is going bye bye because that's the other part of the project um buried somewhere over here in my mess as you can see i got the engine stand out i got the jack the hoist over there but right here under all this crap is a 4l80 out of a 2000 uh express van it was backed it was backing a 454 but it has the ls bolt pattern on it it's got the up upgraded or the updated cooler lines and all that. So uh, hopefully within the next couple days, once I get all that garbage back there, moved out of the way, get the G backed up a little bit, 
Uh, just gotta organize a few more things in the garage here. And then I can get, get it jacked up, get our blocks under the front wheels, get some engine stands or some uh, jack stands underneath the back here. And I am gonna, I'm gonna do a street strip on this. I'm looking at doing a, uh, either a Ford nine inch or an eight eight. I haven't really decided. Maybe you guys can give me some input, but you know, all of you guys that have been following the channel, I mean, this is, this is awesome. Having this garage space, the lighting, uh, my welder, I've got a uh, 50 amp dedicated just for the welder. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, up behind that plate there, I had them do a 30 amp single phase for the lift. I mean, I've got, I know it's hard to see because I got stuff everywhere, but I've got outlets like every couple feet uh, all the way along everything here. I mean, it, I set this garage up just for this just to be able to work on cars, no more working out in the driveway and the, the scorching heat down here. So I know this is a lot of rambling, not a whole lot of action, but I did want to show you guys kind of the garage and the new project. So hopefully you guys are excited. Um, and hopefully I can get some parts ordered in the next couple, well, in the next few days definitely want to get stuff uh cam ordered haven't decided if i'm going to go with the sloppy stage two or not i have this one up here sloppy stage two but when i tried to put it in the 5.3 here for the g it wouldn't go in i had two of them that i bought it wouldn't go in the second one slid right in so i measured them both i mic'd them they both are identical i just couldn't figure out why that one would not go through the cam bearings but the other one did no problem so i might try to put that in there if not i might pick up a brian tooley turbo cam or a texas speed turbo cam uh possibly even the the new summit ls pro turbo cam uh just looking at my options and Got to figure out what I'm going to do for the turbo setup. Um, got to get springs and everything for those. I've got a set. This actually has a set of 799s on it. I've also got another set of 799s over here and a set of 243s. Uh, the 243s, though, I don't. I think one of them's junk. The the spark plug threads are all tore up. So anyway, rambling. So anyways, just want to give you guys an update. Uh, sorry it's been a while but videos will be coming out more here so stick with me guys and uh hope you guys enjoy this journey it, turning this thing into an awesome street strip you know a little drag truck so uh we'll see you guys in the next video